My name is Benoit Glazer. I was born in Montreal. I got involved in music. My father was a fiddler and, uh, and a guitar player, and he sang very well too, but he couldn't read music. And so for years and years there were jam sessions at the house, and I would sit in the staircase and watch and listen. Then uh, for college, um, I actually changed my mind just a few days before the deadline to apply to college and I decided to go into music. Uh, I guess I was looking for maybe a more, a, a bit of a challenge and so I went around the band room and the only instrument I could not play was the trumpet. So that's, I signed up for trumpet and that's it. <laughs> so I switched to trumpet at college. The White House, it's a big White House. And, uh, <laughs> and that's the venue. And well, the thing is, we figured uh, that it would give people a, a good excuse because we have our concerts on Sunday nights, right? If they happen to drink a little too much and they're late at work the next morning, they can say, oh, I was at the White House last night. You know, it's a better excuse than just being out about partying last night. I've been here since 1998 now. First couple of years here, first year, my wife and I, we couldn't see any music anywhere. Um, or, or any, anything else, artistic for that matter. And so we decided to do our own concert. And uh, it was, they were monthly at first, and then a couple of years later it was like twice monthly, and now it's once a week on average. It's actually like in a couple of weeks time we have three in the same week. You know that there's going to be international, like world-class musicians who come. There are world-class musicians in town. There's a many world-class musicians who live in Orlando, who people might not suspect would live in Orlando. It's become an important uh, venue for local musicians to uh, play music they really want to play. somebody's house, so it's not like you're in a bar, um, it's not as rowdy maybe as it gets in a bar, but it is social, it's very social, people get to know each other, you know, we have like a, we have, it, literally, we have a brain surgeon sitting next to a diplomat from another country, sitting next to a janitor at, at the parks, I mean, all kinds of people, so it's not like a concert venue in that way. A couple of her students were taking art lessons, so she showed her art, their art, on the wall for the piano recital. And uh, I said, well, that's a great idea. So I bought some lights and, you know, show lights and stuff, and we started having artists show their work. And then when we moved to the house here, uh, somebody said, oh, I'd like to paint live too. And since then, we added that tradition too, so somebody works live. Usually people do big pieces and there's an easel back there and people can see what's happening and you know of course um, uh, the artists kind of feed off of what's happening on stage and sometimes vice versa this piece most of the pieces you see here there's quite a few in the lobby on the second floor they were done during events during concerts uh, I don't necessarily use the stage the same way I spread the groups around but uh, but it's become a, a a pretty busy recording space also. But the rest of the time, it's our living room.